the Iolani Raiders and the Hilo Vikings playing for the Division One state title. Supposed to be a 4 p.m. kickoff. If it's seven overtimes, just feel bad for us. They're going to be there all day. Or feel good for us if you like football that's crazy. But, no, the Vikings and the Raiders. Now, you got to go to the Big Island last week for mm. – Maybe one of the more interesting viewing experiences, Wall yes, Stadium, yes. a baseball field. They're out there playing in yes. center field. We've talked about it before, but yeah. throw all of that and add to the fact that it was a mud bowl, it was raining, it was crazy. Yeah. So tell me about the Vikings. Can you get an accurate read on them based off a game like that? I think they're probably, in D1, they're A-minus level defense. Um, almost as good as the previous defense, like the one year when they – they held Kahuku to like one touchdown in the first half. Yeah. They stayed close all the way through. This team is not quite as big in the front seven, but they do have girth. They got size. They got some big boys from Kaha as always, but they're secondary yes. is the difference. They got this kid, um, Lane DiPeralto, number two. Mm-hmm. He'll cover the main receiver. So yeah. he took away Jason Ramos. Ramos ended up with a touchdown that brought Leilua within 12-9, or was it 12-7 at the time. But most of the night... Ramos couldn't get free. And, you know, that ball was waterlogged. Uh, Lele Hoa, they had problems throwing it over the top. But I think Deep Peralta, I think to me, he's like a top six, top five, maybe top four cornerback in the state. Just wow. tremendous instincts, tremendous will. Yeah, He was just glued to people. And he wasn't overly physical and borderline PIs. He was just great. Yeah. Well, could you – one thing I was thinking about going into that game was this is a Hilo team where, look, on the Big Island this year – Division one, Division two is a little bit different. They played a lot of teams that they kind of took care of. Hadn't really been in a lot of close games. Yeah. So were you kind of more impressed by the fact that they could go from maybe not being challenged too much to being in a game like Leilua and, and being as good as they were to beat them in I a think, close game like I that? I think that's a good point. And, you know, they, in the Big Island, they do split it up now. Yeah. And you play just D1, double round robin. Uh, it's not their fault that the competition is, is varied because some of the schools are so small or there's not a lot of – like at YK, yeah, the best players are only playing baseball. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, but I think the the past few years of playing in the state tournament have really helped them. So their expectation level is beyond. Well, this is what we do on the Big Island. That's no, they they expanded their offense. They opened it up. I'm really looking forward to seeing the Vikings play because I do the you know all the top ten polls and then put them all together every week. And it's been tough to kind of figure out. You know, some people think they're really good. Have them in the top five, maybe. You know, could could play a couple of those open teams uh, uh, competitively. Other people think no. So it'll be interesting how they match up with this Iolani team who, you know, I give a lot of credit to. You look at them in the regular season. Your alma mater. My, yeah, my alma mater. We always got to say that. You want to sing the alma mater. Yeah. Sing it. No, no, no. Hey, I've got to be professional here, all right? I'm, I'm balanced, <laughs> balanced, all right? No, but Iolani, they, they deserve everything they got. They learned how to win a long time ago. Yeah. And it's carried over. But what I think I find interesting about this team is it's been a little different for them in Division One. You know what they've done? They run the ball. Yeah. They're, they're, they really 50, for the, 57 percent 57 percent and they've been successful at it you know we kind of thought all right in this middle tier where they i think they fit in perfectly how are they going to yes. match up physically they've been able to run the ball brock Donnie, especially the second half of the season you know they had the two running backs going on but he's been really good three touchdowns i believe against moana lua and a very impressive win over that moana yeah. team i think you give coach delbert tang on three four weeks to prepare for an offense that's what you get five interceptions um, Lonnie Lapay, one of the guys I'm looking forward to seeing this ga- in this game, one of the guys that I've really enjoyed watching all year. I think he's a big-time player, could play at the next level, but how's that defense going to kind of slow down Hilo? Is that going to be kind of the big matchup in this uh, I, f- I found looking at the numbers that when you run, if you have a guy like uh, Alfred Fylo ran for 298 yards, or uh, so, uh, what's his name? Sulu. 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 He Sulu. ran Damian. for 250. They lose. When they're predictable, Iolani will give, 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 and then lock down, right, or force a fumble. If you run for more like 85, 100, 120, you have a better chance. For some reason, I don't know if it's just sheer (laughs) luck, but having that balance and being able to threaten with the run, and then, you know, you barely can beat Iolani. I think Lana Kilape, him and Alakai Gilman, there's only a handful of kids that are actually chess masters back there in the defense. They can read what's coming. They've been staring at film Mm -hmm. constantly. You know, and some kids are addicted to Fortnite. These guys are addicted to studying film. Right, right. So that makes a difference. We have something back there, and, and then you have seniors. They had, besides Long Kilo, there's another kid with two picks. They have five picks, right? Yeah, so they have five picks total. Hilo has the balance to neutralize some of that mm-hmm. and at least try and win the, the field position game. So I think it's another low scoring game. Sorry, Billy. Another low scoring game? <laughs> Uh, mid, mid-scoring, mid-scoring. Uh, big Point game, is. Jonah Chong, the quarterback. Is this kind of a chance for him to kind of maybe end his career, you know, two-year starter with that signature win? 
You know, he's kind of been up and down. He's had some good moments. He's struggled a little bit. He nearly brought him back in that comeback against Leila Hu. Unfortunately, he had to pick mm-hmm. in the final minute, um, maybe kind of force it in the end zone there that I'm sure we actually saw the same play against Damien, and you notice he threw it, he threw it out of bounds really <laughs> quickly. So they teach you very well, Adil Hani. Joel leans on the mic. He's on the headset. <laughs> hey, hey, turtle, turtle. Yeah, exactly. But um, big spot for him in his last game to kind of get, get his good signature win to kind of end his career, you think? Uh, you know what? He is smart enough to not try and play hero ball, mm-hmm. but when he's, when it's time to run, he'll do. He'll go. He'll take a spot. He'll go. He'll. He's not gonna like try and be too crazy. He'll slide. But if it is fourth and five, he's going head first. He's he's got nothing to lose. He knows it's this is it. Yeah. Last game, no matter what. Last game, and Carter Kamana has been back now a few yeah. weeks. You mentioned the DB from Hilo. He's going to be going up against. You know, they're going to have to worry best. about why little man, well, the Cole mm-hmm. call. These guys are so slippery, and so fast. Yeah. But Manuel, I'll be a little bit concerned for Yolani that, you know, you keep him healthy because he's your kicker. Right, right. And Hilo has a kicker, this kid, uh, Keanu, Keanu, he had two field goals, 44 yards, 37 yards. In that weather? In that weather. And the 44-yarder, wow. I'm not kidding, an extra 10, 11 yards. Oh, wow. However, he missed the extra points. So uh-huh. there you go, high school, high school mm-hmm. sports. Man. High school it's, sports, you're right. Now, I'm definitely not picking this game, obviously, because it's my alma mater, and I don't want to get in trouble with anyone, good or bad. <laughs> but uh, are you going to predict this? What do you I, think? I'm thinking the kicking game makes a difference. See, Hilo did something I haven't seen since the 1990s. They were ahead of, nobody remembers this, but they were ahead of Kauai in the uh, Neighbor Island Challenge, Neighbor Island Classic. They were up 13-0. Uh, Kauai was favored. They had Tyler Shigimoto, stud kid. And they went for an onside kick. Kawhi gets the ball. They come back and win 21-13. There was no need for the onside. Yeah. This game they just have, they, they're up 12-0. They go for an onside. A wow. pooch kick. They got it. It looks like it's their ball. The referees talk. No, it's going the other way. I thought right there Lele was going to come back and win. They almost did. Yeah. So it's not so much the kicking skills, but if they gamble a little bit too much, Ilani, they practice this stuff all the time. They also know how to defend against it. Right, right. I think there might be a mistake along the way somewhere. Nobody's fault. It's just the nature of the way they play. So I think Iolani, something like 1916. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Big, big win for them. Yeah, I saw you smile. <laughs> a little smile, hey, baby. Hilo will win you over. Their yeah, fans I'm are, really excited. Their to fans are so into it. Yeah. I, I, that's one thing I miss about the Big Island is their fans, they don't hold back. Yeah. And they're not, they're not malicious or anything. They're just so into it. Everybody's grandma, grandpa, uncle. Everybody's there going crazy. They're going to bring their fans. Yeah. Could be a fun flight back uh, that night. Everyone trying to get back to the big eyes that night after the game. Or it could be a sad one. 13-0. 13-0. 13-0. 